And as talk of political coalitions intensify from Thika to Naivasha, Nakuru, and even here in Nairobi at the Serena Hotel, what is it about these coalitions that makes them seem so attractive? Well, that was my first question to Meru Governor and former Cabinet Minister Kiraito Murungi. Uh, it's, you know that they're attractive. They are politically inevitable. They are a political necessity. You know, given the ethnic structure, of our country uh, and I don't think there's any presidential candidate who can win on his own now you know without combining with others and uh, I think for a country like ours uh, elite, elite pacting the, the elite agree would be the best way the easiest way for us to forge even that national unity that we are talking about uh, so far, everyone which we had has ended up in betrayal. And uh, I, I think it's to be realistic, people have not changed, they are the same. So I, I will not be surprised if some will betray us, you know, you know when the time comes. Uh, but as again, I said, it is, it's not out of malice. It, it can be material to political necessity, political considerations. Yes, coalitions always behave in the same way. Uh, because if you ask yourself, those people have locked themselves in a room in the Serena. Maybe they are five or six. You know, what are they talking about? Yeah, as yes. first. They look at themselves, you know, who is going to be president among us. They are not talking about Kenyans. They are talking about themselves first. You know, it's the jobs for the big boys. And then we have also to look at the people because you can't get there unless you are supported by your people. Mm. So we have to look at the development. You know, we need roads. We need the agriculture. Mm -hmm. We need to support fisher, fisher, fishermen.